So friends, uh, let's start to learn quadratic polynomials. Here, ax squared plus bx plus c is a quadratic polynomial. Here, a is not equal to 0 and uh, degree is uh, degree is equal to 2 here. So just think about the quadratic equation. What is quadratic equation? Quadratic equation. Equation. If it is written as ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, then it is called a quadratic equation. Just see the example. 3x squared plus 4x plus 6 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. Here, a is the coefficient of x squared and uh, b is the coefficient of x and c is the constant term. Okay. So, a is equal to 3, b is equal to 4 and c is equal to 6 here. Okay. Just see the another example. Uh, 4x squared minus 3x plus 2 is equal to 0. So, here 4 is equal to a is equal to 4, b is equal to minus 3 and c is equal to 2. Okay. So, this is a quadratic uh, equations. Okay, now we have to be learn uh, how to find uh, uh, we will learn how to find a quadratic equation uh, by um, uh, factorization method. Okay, now we will think uh, how to find uh, roots of the quadratic equation by factorization method. Okay, so just see the factorization method, factorization method. Okay, now we see the example. Here, uh, x squared plus uh, 10x plus 21 is equal to 0. It's the quadratic equation. So, how can we uh, find the roots of the uh, x squared plus 10x plus 21 is equal to 0 by factorization method? So, friends, uh, we have to split the middle term here. Split the middle term. How can we split the middle term? Oh, it's very easy. Just uh, uh, take uh, the middle term uh, in uh, uh, in the way of uh, uh, n1 plus n2 if uh, addition of uh, two numbers is equal to 10 and the product of uh, uh, two numbers n1 into n2 is equal to 21. Then uh, in this uh, term we have to be split uh, this number. So what we get here? Just see, uh, the number is 7 or plus 3. 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. If we uh, get the product of uh, 7, 3 is equal to 21. So this number is the, uh, uh, the expanding form of uh, 10x. Now we have to be split and uh, it can be written as uh, x squared plus uh, 7 plus 3 and x plus 21 is equal to 0. Now it can be also written as uh, x squared plus uh, 7x plus 3x plus 21 is equal to 0. It can be uh, grouping, uh, we have to be group uh, this number uh, like this, x squared plus 7x and the 3x plus 21. So we have to be take the common of uh, these uh, two numbers. So how can it be possible, uh, it can be uh, written, uh, take uh, x and it can be also written as x, x into x plus 7 into x, okay, plus uh, 3 into x uh, plus 7 into 3 is equal to 0. Take the common of uh, the number x, x, okay, x uh, is the, <coughs> in the x time of uh, x plus 7 plus 3 is a common and uh, x plus 7 is equal to 0. Now we get the two terms and uh, we will have to we take the common of this number. So what we write here? x plus 7 and uh, x plus 3 is equal to 0. So uh, and this is the expanded form of x squared plus 10x plus 21 is equal to 0. Okay. Now we have to be uh, find the roots of uh, this number. So 
uh, as, as we know that a into b is equal to 0 either a is equal to 0 or b is equal to 0 ok so here x plus 7 is equal to 0 or x plus 3 is equal to 0 ok so uh, we have to be uh, shift the 7 uh, plus 7 uh, to the other sides x uh, it can be written as uh, x uh, is equal to minus 7 and uh, negative 7 or x is equal to negative 3 so this is the root of uh, uh, x square plus 10x plus 21 is equal to 0 okay